Hello, and I wanna wish you a big welcome back to the channel. Today, we're in Braddock Heights, Maryland, and we're gonna take a look at a place called Summer's Farm. And as you can see from the images, it is a wide open space. There are lots of adults and kids here, and I'm gonna help you understand what you can expect and also answer that million dollar question. Is it worth your time? And also, is it worth your money? There is a lot to see and do here. I can't wait to show you around. So without any further delay, Let's go see it. Right now, we are in the parking lot, and what gives that away is all the cars that are parked all around us. And as you can see, it is a very large parking lot, so parking is not going to be a problem. The great thing about also coming to Summers Farm is that parking is absolutely free. Although parking is free, everything else at Summers Farm is going to cost you, to include getting inside. Now, if you wanna save some money, I recommend you go online. If you pay online, expect to pay around $17 per person. That's anyone who's ages three to 99. Now, if you pay at the door, expect to pay around $21. If you really love Summers Farm and want to really save some money, get a season pass. That's gonna be anywhere from $50 on up. One of the most popular attractions at Summers Farm is going to be the barn. That's where they keep all the live farm animals. You're gonna see anything from cows, goats, chickens, you name it. If it's a farm animal, more than likely you're gonna be able to see it in the barn. The great thing about coming here, especially if you have young kids, is that you can get up close and personal. You can touch the animals uh, and you can watch them interact with each other. It's a wonderful experience. Before we go on just a little bit more about pricing, when it comes to the weekends, the prices are going to be a little bit higher than say if you were to come during the weekday. Saturday and Sunday are gonna be the busiest time. In my opinion, that's the best time to come. There's more people here, but there's more opportunities for you to interact with others and have a great time in a more fellowship type environment. If you are planning a trip here, I strongly recommend you come with an appetite because they make the food fresh right here in front of you. If you come up close, you can look through the window and see them making the kettle corn and donuts. And those are my two personal favorites, the kettle corn and the donuts. You have to come and try those. They're made fresh, they're warm, they're soft, they're delicious. The food again is delicious and if you want to save some money, I recommend you bring your own food. There is picnic areas all throughout and there are lots of benches and tables where you can sit down and enjoy the festivities with your friends and family. We were there on a Sunday in the middle of the fall, so it was cool outside. And one of the things I like about visiting in the fall is that they have warming fires where you can just sit down without having to bring your own firewood and just enjoy a nice raging hot fire. In today's day and age when kids really don't get out and interact with others that much, the thing I really enjoyed was that there were lots of games, games that you could play with strangers or with the people you were with, and the people there were all in the same mood of having a good time, so finding someone to play with was not hard at all. As you are watching this video, you can tell very easily that it is a kid-rich environment. That's because they cater to kids. However, it is a lot of acres. We're talking about 40 plus acres. So something I strongly recommend you do as an adult is to make sure that you bring their stroller. Summer's Farm is technically wheelchair accessible. However, we're talking about uh, land that's on a grade and also it's not altogether smooth. So although it's wheelchair accessible, it's gonna be maybe a challenge. Now, when it comes to man's best friend, unfortunately, Summer's Farm does not allow you to bring pets, so leave your dogs at home. If you've never been on a hayride, it's something, one of the options of things that you can do while on Summer's Farm. I particularly enjoyed it because Towards the middle of the day, I started to get really tired. So going on a hayride was a way for me not just to give the kids something else to do, but also offered me the opportunity to get off my feet and just watch them enjoy themselves. So I love the fact that they have these activities that kind of take the, kid out, the kids out 
and away and allowed me to be able to just relax and enjoy the environment without them. Those of you who are familiar with my channel know that I specialize in fun and interesting things for individuals and families to do in the DC metro area. So I strongly encourage you, if you want to find something new and creative, check out my channel for dozens of options. While for the most part, pretty much everything you can see and do is free and included, there are some additional extra cost items like this Apple Blaster right here where you have to pay a small fee in order just to have a bag of apples to shoot the blaster. Now, as we're walking around and you're looking and you're maybe wondering how many activities are here that you can actually engage in, according to their website and my count, there's about maybe 45 to 50 different things that kids can do while they're here. In some of the general shots, as you look around, you'll see that Summer's Farm is just acres upon acres. And to be quite frank, after a while, it gets to be quite exhausting, especially if you're there on a day that's hot or it's a lot of sun. So one of the things I do like is the fact that there are plenty of seating available. They're scattered throughout the entire uh, facility, but you can see that, you know, you can sit down, especially if you're a parent, get off your feet, give yourself a rest, maybe get on your phone and check some emails while the kids play, or you can just sit there, watch them and take photographs. But I think it's a great option that there are so many seating options available. For some of you city dwellers who are watching this program, I have some bad news for you. If for whatever reason you're out there in all those acres and you want to use the bathroom, your only option is going to be the porta potties that you see right here. In some of the earlier shots, you saw the pumpkin and there's uh, different foods for sale like donuts as well as kettle corn. But there's a variety of things that you can buy that are on sale that are fresh. That are Many of these are created right here on the farm or locally. And there's also food in some tents that are close by. Uh, so there's a lot of options. So don't feel that you have to bring your own food or the only thing that you can have is snack food. The only problem that I have with the food line is that it, in my opinion, it moved painfully slow. So that is something I think they need to work on. Here is a pro tip for you while you're here. Bring change. There's going to be opportunities for you to feed animals and there's not a change machine that's close by. So if you want to feed these animals, you want to have quarters with you. That way you can, you know, it's a great activity for the kids and also the adults enjoy it too as well. Here's some more about what you can expect. When I was there, I was there with four kids and they played with each other. What I found great was that they were of different ages, so they really couldn't play all the same games at the same levels. And one of the things I really enjoyed was the fact that kids found other kids their age and they were playing with them. In fact, two of my boys wanted to run off with other kids and their parents, which was okay. Uh, it's you know, a lot of people that are here, in my opinion, are here to have a good time and they want their kids to interact and play with other kids and just have fun together. Now, clearly, Summer's Farm is designed for kids, but while I was there, there were a lot of adults I thought that were having fun, not just watching their kids have fun, but also interacting with their kids and just really enjoying um, being together. So that's the best thing I can say about Summer's Farm is that it helps bring you together and it's, a more, it's a, such a strong family atmosphere that it is a definite win, something that is definitely worth the time and cost.